this is the latest from stevequail.com you'll see this posted on the bottom of the first page on his home page that is the first page as you'll see it by your screen just look down the bottom of that okay I've put the link in more info now to the article Chinese lean on US Treasury Steve Quayle note confirmed through Asian sources this morning the largest gold trader in the world but understand I cannot confirm all items of in this story the ramifications are overwhelming keep your eyes open November 13 2009 Steve submitted by RD I found news on link that will be in more info and I also uh, did a YouTube of this a few days ago that link will also be in more info as well uh, so I'll go back I found news on link of Chinese parties were signing papers to execute their lien on the US Treasury as one of the key aggrieved beneficiary owners of the loan 10,000 tons of gold 500,000 metric I think that is of AU AU being I understand that means gold not 10,000 metric when gold was US $45 an ounce now $1,200 US dollars an ounce plus interest at 7 and 7 8 percent per year compounding wow now you see it right yes big yes my source our comments between he and I was that this war was set to break eventually I mean you see that someone is owed something when it was cheap and now they are owed something when it's a king's ransom so what would you do go to court most likely we need someone in the Washington pool on this it's quite covert and very touchy so yes 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 it's the only fire stick the good guys with the white hats have left and this section below all looks like it's from uh, worldreports.org that link uh, most of this I haven't put up yet in my uh, se next sequencing parts I've only put up part anyway here it is uh, the Chinese parties were signing papers at the World Court on 11th of November 2009 following preparatory activity on 10th of November to execute their lien on the US Treasury as one of the key aggrieved beneficiary owners of the loan 10,000 tons of gold and the currency boxes etc the world court powers will enable them to seize US assets around the world within their jurisdictions and probably even on the high seas and at air of the stolen diverted assets they have no choice now given that they acted in good faith whereas as usual the US shadow government consisting of fraudulent finance cadres functioning as though they are bona fide US officials appointees and legislators have gone too far as previously explained we understand that a total of 163 prominent individuals many from Congress plus George Bush 41 William Clinton 42 and George Bush 43 plus three current and former US Supreme Court justices will be arrested on the basis of arrest warrants in the light of the continued sabotage and the deadline for the Chinese to implement their lien on the US Treasury our sources initially indicated that exposure and lockup orders going all the way to Bush 41 were extant on 10th of November separate sources stated to us that these arrests were associated with world court instructions and warrants which were put into process with effect from the sabotage operation on Tuesday 10th of November becoming known and this is my little word here that I think was Fort Hood which was just basically uh, a way well the Bushes had uh, hidden stolen US Treasury currency or US uh, sorry stolen Chinese currency that was stored there and it was just an operation all that was just sort of an operation in order to get that out now back to the article it stands and I also YouTube that so if you want to go back I'll also put that in more info that link it stands to reason that this back to the article it stands to reason that this state of affairs represents a massive threat to US national security 
which has been brought about exclusively by the feckless refusal of the US authorities to do what should have been done in 2007, but was aborted because the Bush dynasty was still in power and by the lust of various components of the structures for the money, representing corruption on a gargantuan scale, arising from George Bush Sr.'s insidious technique of enticing collaboration through the mirage of promise of great riches. That has been the technique used throughout, and its absolute decadence and foul origination is now unveiled for even the most blind observers to see, unless they belong to the mainstream media which, like King Zachariah, have had their eyes put out by Nebuchadnezzar and have been transported to Babylon. We further understand that about 1,600 people around the world will be at the receiving end of arrest warrants and seizure on site following the generation of these warrants by the World Court in the foregoing context. The aggrieved parties between, uh, remain unchanged and are headed by the Chinese authorities and elders and the British monarchical power. That's the end of article. Links are in more info. This was only a small part, one page of ten of the total from worldreports.org. Skeptical? I am too. Check out my playlist from, for confirmations. If you look, you may find these sources have stories that have been uh, cross-confirmed. What I'm actually trying to do now is put the confirmations in the same playlist so you can see, see them straight after the article. Uh, these are all the playlists I would advise uh, to look at for cross-confirming and collaboration. If you find anything that is not, or anything that uh, proves any of these articles wrong or right, please uh, send a message and let me know and I'll give you credit. youtube.com slash thank you white